Hello guys, welcome back to DSFR. Today I'm going to be talking about uh, the starters signing a few guys here today um, for the crazy free agency, but I'm not going to talk about all the signings, of course, um, that would take forever, and countless videos would be made, um, but I'm just going to talk about who the stars sign and what I think about them. So the two big ones were Martin Hansel, three years, 4.75 cap hit. Um, and the other one was Brian Flynn for one year. Um, I didn't talk, I'm not going to talk about Pitlick or, um, I think there was one other guy. Um, uh, but they're smaller and I don't think that they, they're going to play in the NHL. I mean, maybe Pitlick, but, um, we'll have to wait and see. But the big one here is Martin Hansel. Um, the contract is three years, 4.75 cap hit for a 14, 25 million total. Um. I think it's too much, uh, in all honesty. Um, I think he was overrated. Uh, I mean, he didn't play well in Minnesota at all. Um, he had a great first half and then just sucked in the second half. Um, 53 penalties in minutes, 17 plus minus. I mean, plus minus is anything to go on, really. But still, I think that three years is, is pretty steep, and if this doesn't work out, then again, it's another bad contract. But I think it will. I think he will play well. I think it'll be a good... I think... I think what they're doing here is saying, hey, our defensive centerman, Cody Eakin, was gone, is gone now. I think they're replacing, Han I think they think that Hansel is an upgrade on Cody Eakin, and honestly, I think that's that's true, but um, looking at it that way, I, I can understand why they did it. Um, they lost their defensive centerman, and now they're getting another one back. Um, but if, if, that's the, if that's the route they're going with, I'm perfectly fine with that. Um, I think he'll be a, if if they use him on the second line. I, I don't think they will. I think they'll have him on the third line. I think they'll have still have faith in just Jason Spezza going into the second line. But uh, I think that they'll have Hansel on the third line. I think he'll play well. In all honesty, I think he'll do well in Dallas. Um, and I, I I mean the cap is a bit much for him. Um, if it, you can get him at four million, that would be much better. But I don't. I think the competition was a bit steeper there, so they kind of had to overreach on him, um, salary-wise. So, I mean, I'm I'm fine with it though. Twenty goals, nineteen assists, and seventy-one games played. Again, he had a great first half, and then trailed off in the second half. But um, he's a good defensive guy, and you need that definitely. Um, but I like the signing if that if they're saying we lose Cody, can we we want a similar player? I'm perfectly fine with that. Um, I'm fine with that. Yeah. I'm definitely fine with that. And the other one was Brian Flynn for one year. Um, six goals, four assists, and 40, 51 games played. Um, I think he'll be an AHLer, but if they want to put him on the fourth line, if there's an injury um, or something happens, I, I think he might do well. Um, he wasn't bad with Montreal. Um, he was He's really non-existent, but he, he get, gets some things done sometimes. Um, he can... I mean, he he's... He's a fine player. He's a guy that un under the rare, as in, he um, he, he's just non-existent really, and that's I wouldn't say that's the role of fourth line center, but uh, I'd say it's one of the roles you need to play, um, be non-existent, and be able to play a good defensively. And I think that's what Brian Flynn gives for them. Uh, but I I say he's going to be a first line or. Not a first liner for the AHL, but he's going to be a player in the AHL. I don't think he'll be an NHL player most of the time throughout the year. Uh, he might get a few games in the year. I, I'm, I'll say he gets around 10, maybe 15 games. Uh, but that that's that's all. Uh, unless injuries really ha really screw us over like the first half of this year. But um, really, it's a good depth signing. Um, I'm, I'm fine with it. Um, but we'll just have to wait and see. So... That is it for today. Um, there might might be more signings. Who knows? Um, I'm I don't, I'm still on the fence on if I'm gonna, um, for instance, make a video on the Carl Osner signing or other things like that. I might I might just make a whole recap of the day and the next couple of days, and who knows what happens. But uh, but there's other Dallas signings. I might make videos on that. But um, for for now, it was the only two, not major, but the only two ones notable were Hansel and Brian Finn. So, if you guys really did enjoy, make sure to leave a like. If you guys really enjoyed it, make sure to subscribe. And I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.